Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to give you a little more information about my 3D Time Machine Warrior tutorial that I have listed on my newly upgraded version of my sci-fi animator.com website. You can see it in, it's under the section called Premium Tutorials and the direct link is sci-fi animator.com slash wordpress to get to that page. Either way works, you can go to the regular home page as well and find the link. But basically what this tutorial is designed to do, it's, it's called the 3D Time Machine Warrior because what I'm doing is I'm basically providing you the tools that allow you to build kind of historical war machine events that occur if you were to pass through time in a time machine. You know, from the basics of rolling a rock down a hill to maybe shooting an arrow from a bow and, you know, then it a cannonball and then it evolves to there. So say hundreds of years ago when calculus was invented, then you could calculate, you know, where an object might land. But then, and a lot of it has to do about learning about basic physics. Like this is one of the, this is actually part of the lesson. There's a lot of lessons in of this section in here where I just have these objects like this. Where in some cases I'll just run this. Where on the cylinder you can either accelerate things like this, or you can apply uh, torques to these objects as well, which is angular acceleration in this case. Uh, I have things in here for moving. From moving this object up so you learn about forces and newtons and how to apply forces and we learn about vectors in this case so you can rotate vectors and find angles within here a lot but a lot of it has to do uh, in some of the earlier lessons is about learning basic vector math which is one of the important elements of the tutorial so we learn about components and coordinates of a vector and calculating cross products and determinants these are all really important features to know and with just this basic stuff a lot of this stuff I show you how to do within the logic bricks first and then I show you how to implement it within code and I provide you with direct really short concise examples that you'll be able to use with your in your own projects I just try and simplify the daylights out of you but of course the important thing is learning the math as you go because without your fundamental grounding in math you're pretty much stuck I mean, there's so many things that you just simply can't do if you're not grounded in math. And math, it's not just math, but it's also basic physics because you have to know about things like mass and density and acceleration and velocity and all these things. But they really turn out to be really useful tools. And then the other portion of it is we're working within here, within the, this is the, you know, here's the time machine itself down in here. It's kind of like a shell, so you're free to kind of build it what it is. And I include in here the the tutorial for doing these digital dials. These are really important. I mean, normally you would have to do a display on this screen for doing a heads-up display using something like a regular text object. But this is a much cooler way where we actually rotate the dials. You can see these are dials in here. And I show you how to build these dials and how to rotate them. Again, this requires trigonometry. And so you should be familiar with the my Math for Animators playlist at the very least and also the trigonometry review playlist as well. But then we can do things like target missiles. So like as we advance further into the future, we could do heat seeking missiles, which is kind of like what we do. We, tra we track, these are our, the scud missiles are going to be on trucks and the, our friendly missiles are going to be just mounted and they'll track down these scud missiles, which you've seen in some of the earlier videos. Like, well, let me see if this one's even, let me see. Yeah, this one's running. Oh, I got a radar in the scene. I show you how to use the logic bricks for that and the state machine associated with that. There's the scud and then these things take off. You, you, you can't hear the sound here because I'm recording as well. But basically what they do is they track missiles and I'll show you about uh, special forms of collision detection and things like that. So it kind of acts like a video game, but it's not really designed as a video game. It's really designed to help you learn math and programming within the Blender game engine and I assure you it will help your skills tremendously if you for building whatever kind of simulation or game that you might want. If you're not familiar with Blender or the physics engine or programming and math, it's a really, really helpful tutorial. And it takes well, it's gonna end up I thought it was gonna be like five to six hours, which is what I promoted on the website, but it's probably gonna be more like six to seven hours in length when I finally complete it all. And I'm about eighty percent of the way complete. But you can down you can already purchase the tutorial and download the first half of the course, which is how I'm distributing it, and then I'll distribute the second half before the end of the month. And they're all done as downloadable twelve eighty by seven twenty 
movie files. It's easier that way. It's a little bit harder at the outset because you have to take the time to download them. But once you have them, it's just much simpler to cycle through the file when you're watching the video because you just you can quickly step to the locations within the file. So just wanted to point that out. And also until the end of the month, end of November, I am offering a special on it. So for anybody who purchases the tutorial before the end of November this year, that's 2013, you also will get a free one-year membership to my website, which is where I'll be hosting a lot of special tutorials, WordPress posts, 3D models or scenes, or things that I just happen to might be working on during the course of the year. And so you'll have a you'll be able to have a one-year membership free if you purchase it before the end of November. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.